Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install apps on your iPad Air. So let's get started. This is on the iOS 18 version. So let's get started. The very first thing you need to do is go into your setting and verify that you're connected to Wi-Fi or a hotspot or if you have cellular uh, data, you need internet connection basically in order to download and install any apps. Now once you have internet connection, you're going to make your way over to the App Store uh, app, which is a default app on your iPad that has all the apps. And then up top here, you're going to see a profile icon. You want to click to verify that you are signed into an Apple account. If not, go ahead and sign in or create one for free. But you will also need an Apple account along with the internet in order to download and install any app. So once you have done that, you're going to be ready to search for an app. You can browse around here, the different tabs. Or you can go to a search page if you have a specific app in mind. Click on the search bar and then you can search up that. For example, I want to download and install a YouTube app. So I search up YouTube here. And then you see here YouTube right here. In order to download and install, I'm just going to click on Get here. And it's going to ask if I want to install. I'm going to click on Install. And it will begin downloading and installing the app. So as you can see here, the download is happening and then it will install at the same time. So I'm going to wait. I can exit out of this or search for other apps to download and install. And then on my home page here, I can see where the app is being downloaded right here. Or it might be on the very last page known as the app library under recently added, which might show up here. So just look for it anywhere and you should see your app. As you can see here currently, it's installing now. And I can go ahead and open up and I am ready to start using YouTube on my iPad after I download it. So that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPad. We'll see you guys next time.